It is toss time on match day 9 of season 3 in the Dream 11 Spice LT10 tournament. It is a matchup featuring the Bayleaf Blasters and the Saffron Strikers. Two teams eager to pick up a victory to bolster the chances of making it into the knockout stage of the tournament. Our match referee does here, Mr. Carl Felix, and our two captains, home captain for today's match, Devon Smith, and the away captain, Daryl Cyrus. Smith tosses, the call is a tail, and it's a long, long <laughs> It's a very long, long head. I will have a ball first. Um, I think <coughs> we had a little rest day after the last game. You know, we have to, um, to, to revive and see what we could do today. This one is ballooned off the, the, the edge of the bat and it, it lands safely and will now roll down to the fine leg boundary for four. This time Benjamin is working him into the onside. The ball balloons. It goes down to just back with a square. Is it going to be taken? The wicket keeper goes. Yes, he's taken it. And that's an awesome take. He traveled nothing short of a mile and a half, really. This time he's hooking him, hooking him well. This one will not travel. It has ballooned and it goes into the onside and an easy catch. This time he's going, he's going with him, he's going. Will it go? Neil and Pascal is looking under it and it just eludes, but it goes into the mid-wicket boundary for six. This time John is hooking him and hooking him well, cleanly. This one disappeared over mid-wicket. That's an awesome shot, a cracking maximum. Ryan, John just playing this one up onto the offside and picking up another power aid, cracking. Ryan, John is advancing down the wicket and it will beat everyone and time this one is played uppishly but over the infield on the offside and a power aid cracking four that was sweetly played good shot into the onside he has picked the gap nicely four runs that's an exquisite strike by uh, Williams but it only goes directly to the fielder who takes a pretty decent regulation catch and travel it has. It has traveled to the point where the umpire really had to take some evasive actions there. This time he smacked him through the offside. That's a good shot. It beats the field. It will roll into the boundary. Did he hold it back? I'm not quite sure. We're going to have to take a look at that and see. But he was really behind it. No need for the fumble. He Catch, catch, catch. The call is catch. Is he going to take it? Yes, yes he does. And uh, that's the demise of Ryan John. Slower delivery and it's hiked over uh, the onside for six runs is at the other end on ten. This one is struck over back past the bowler. Will it travel all the way for six? It does just crash into the Dream 11 uh, boundary board and a power eight maximum. And this time he's going with him. He's going with him and the man down there on the boundary is merely a spectator. He's going with him again. Another power aid maximum. Somebody hold on to Javel St. Paul because he has let loose now. And boy, is he going. He's gone with him again. This time through the offside. It will travel into the boundary for four. And he goes with Rogers. Is it going to go all the way? No, it's not. And a good catch there in the offside. And that's the end of Daryl Cyrus. Ah, he's bowled him. That's the end of that. That's another fruit of dismissal. And he goes with it. How far is it going to go? Not very far. Just on the edge of the circle. And a comfortable catch taken. The Saffron Strikers, 93 for 6 at the end of 10. Oh, he's bowled him. He's bowled him. He's gotten the wicket. This time he smacks him away through the onside. That's a fantastic shot. This time he looks for it again, but uh, over the what would have been the slip cordon and rolls into the boundary for four. Forward in the future. Uh, it's a well struck there, and uh, not even Netram with his acrobatics can can hold on to it. Uh, this time Smith gets a hold of him and Smith dispatches him over long on and that's a glorious shot all the way, a power aid maximum. 
Slow delivery and Smith picked it and boy did it travel. Somebody clear the birds because Smith is gone. It's gone. Smith is gone. It's landed now and the power aid maximum. And Smith is going with him again but this one balloons and it goes just inside the edge of the circle on the onside and a really comfortable catch taken and Devon Smith perishes. Well, more than two will come here now surely because this one was dispatched onto the onside. goes after him again this one will beat the fielder running back it will beat him as it rolls into the boundary uh, he goes with him again danger out in the deep here he's caught that's a good catch well taken it was firmly struck oh this time it was smacked through the offside for four that's a glorious shot Uh, well, they wouldn't mind that at all. Anyhow, they come, they come. That's four. Campbell goes with him. This one is gone. This one is sailing. It gone. It gone. It's gone. It goes all the way, and a power aid maximum. Campbell goes again, and this one comes all the way down to long on another power aid cracking four. It's a slower delivery, and Campbell holds on to it. The call is one. They will come back for two. It's going to be danger here at the wicket keeper, and he misses it. Are they looking for three? No, they decided against it. He goes with him again. Uh, this one will roll out to the boundary. So that's it. The scores are all knotted up now as Heron Campbell has taken over. He's raced to 41. And he edges it, he drops it, they go for the single, they go through for the single. It was a good edge, uh, well, a good edge by Heron Campbell and uh, the excitement there for the Bayleaf Blasters. A catch that really should have been taken by GN Benjamin. It was almost elementary. Best economy rate of the match and that goes to Sherman Lewis uh, who went for 3.5 runs and over Javel St. Paul would have been the poor striker with 360. So Sherman would receive his prize from... Mr. Mahon, our chairman of selectors. Uh, we now present the second prize, that is to Javel St. Paul, our power striker of the match, uh, three sixes in his innings. And finally, the player of the match goes to Heron Campbell for his heroics in leading his team to victory towards a uh, place in the Next round of competition, Campbell finished on 46 runs, 29 balls, 5 fours, and 2 sixes.